Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. Today we're going to talk about how to repair badly damaged cast iron. This, uh, I had a little incident with some potatoes that I burned and then I tried to clean it and I literally, with the potatoes, lifted off the seasoning, the cast iron seasoning on the pan. So what do you do about this? There's a couple ways to do this. I'm going to show you the Eric way. The Eric way. There are, there are <laughs> so many people have very strong opinions about their cast iron. This is how I do it, okay? We have to go outside. Ready? Outside? Yeah. Wear gloves. Do this outside or in a garage. Uh, the warmer the area, the better. The oven cleaner works better and warmer things. Follow all the cautionary tales on the back of this stuff and spray your cast iron with oven cleaner. Ready? It's kind of sizzling. This stuff really smells. You should do it outside. Now put this in a plastic bag and let it sit for the day. All right, let that sit. Go wash the lavadars. This has been sitting all day outside. If you want to hurry up the process a bit, and this doesn't really, you should just do this anyway, preheat these in your oven before you put on the foamy spray oven cleaner. Because that way it works better than what I did. But Did you forget? I put them in the plastic bag just because it's quite odorous and you know, I got the dogs around and if you did this in your garage, plastic bag would help keep the odor down. I don't suggest doing this in the house, okay? So this has been sitting all day. I actually went out and sprayed another layer of the cleaner on there, and now we're gonna rinse this off. Wow, look at that. Pretty good, huh? You can still see it's black up in here, so I can spray this again, so I can put more oven cleaner on there and let it go another round. Is it possible to put too much oven cleaner on? Uh, I just think you should follow the instructions of the oven cleaner. I just do, you know, I spray it once and I put it out there and I went back about an hour and I sprayed it again. So it's cast iron, it's kind of hard to ruin it, but again, be careful. It's, um, it's lye basically is what is in oven cleaner. So I'm gonna spray this again and clean it up, okay? Okay, so this pan, clean on the bottom, there's still material on the sides, and this is after two spraying. So I'm going to spray this and scrub this to clean it up. And again, we're outside when we're doing this, okay? For the really stuck on stuff, you can use steel wool instead of the scouring pad. Nice, huh? I'm, I'm really, really, I'm, I'm just happy that it's done because I was kind of thinking, oh, I ruined my pan. So that's how you do it. A lot of the blogs and stuff are like, oh, just spray it and it's clean. Now this took four times to do it uh, using the steel wool, a coarse grade of steel wool worked a lot better than the scouring pad, you know, from your kitchen sink because you ruined the scouring pad, you know. Um, nice and smooth now, really kind of amazingly smooth. There are a couple of nicks and stuff in there, but that's okay. Now we're going to season this and we can learn how to do that with our other best way to season video with the link is here. And if that link isn't working, there's a link below here as well. Technology, you know. And also we can talk about if this is heavily rusted, we made a video about that as well. Again, link is over there. But if you just like what we're doing here, you can hit our subscribe button. We put out videos every week and also join our email news list. Uh, we put out an email every week about cool stuff we're doing and visit our site, gardenfork.tv. All right, let me know your thoughts about how to rescue cast iron pans. Someone's gonna mention sandblasting, I know it. See ya. Thank you.